Imagine a place where giant tortoises roam free, and landscapes seem like they're from another planet. Welcome to Kabuma Travel's journey to the Galapagos Islands, a world of wonders like nowhere else on Earth. And remember, if you're loving the adventures on Kabuma Travel, smash that like button, click subscribe, and ring that notification bell to join us on every epic journey. The Galapagos Islands, an archipelago of volcanic islands straddling the equator, are nestled in the Pacific Ocean, about 900 kilometers off the coast of Ecuador. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is not just a natural wonder, but a living laboratory of evolution. The islands are famous for their unique wildlife. Here you'll meet the iconic Galapagos giant tortoise, the only place in the world where these gentle giants are found in the wild. The fearless wildlife, from marine iguanas to the blue-footed booby, have evolved in isolation, creating an extraordinary animal kingdom. The Galapagos played a pivotal role in Charles Darwin's theory of evolution. During his visit in 1835, Darwin observed the diverse wildlife, which later influenced his groundbreaking work on the origin of species. Today, the islands continue to be a hotspot for scientific research and discovery. Beyond the wildlife, the Galapagos Islands boast diverse landscapes. From pristine beaches and lava formations to lush highlands and crystal clear waters, each island has its unique charm and secrets to reveal. For the adventurous souls, the Galapagos offer snorkeling with sea lions, kayaking alongside turtles, and hiking on ancient volcanic craters. Every activity brings you closer to understanding this mesmerizing world. The local culture is equally fascinating. Engage with the warm and welcoming residents, learn about their way of life, and discover how they coexist with the environment in a sustainable manner. Planning a trip to the Galapagos? It's essential to be well-prepared. The best time to visit, travel tips, and must-see destinations. We've got all the insider info you need for an unforgettable expedition. We're going to go in detail through all these things and more. But wait, here's the kicker. The last piece of information is by far the most interesting. You're going to want to stay until the end to find out. Let's get started. Best things to do in the Galapagos Islands. We're going to start our journey by diving into the top things to do in the Galapagos Islands, a place where nature's wonders are just waiting to be explored. So let's embark on this incredible adventure together. First up, snorkeling and diving. The Galapagos Islands are a paradise for underwater enthusiasts. Dive into the crystal clear waters and swim alongside sea turtles, rays, and even playful sea lions. The underwater world here is as diverse as it is breathtaking. Next, wildlife watching. The Galapagos are home to some of the most unique species on the planet. Visit the giant tortoises in their natural habitat, watch the blue-footed boobies perform their mating dance, and don't miss the chance to see the magnificent frigate birds. For the hikers and explorers, the islands offer numerous trails. Trek up the Sierra Negra volcano on Isabella Island for an unforgettable view of one of the world's largest volcanic craters. Or explore the lava tunnels on Santa Cruz Island for a glimpse into the island's volcanic origins. Kayaking and paddleboarding are also must-do activities. Paddle through mangroves and along the rugged coastlines. It's a peaceful way to enjoy the scenery and get up close with marine life. Time to relax? The Galapagos has some of the most beautiful beaches. Sink your toes into the white sands of Gardner Bay, or experience the unique green sands of Cormorant Point. These beaches are not just for lounging, but also great spots for wildlife encounters. Immerse yourself in the local culture. Visit the Charles Darwin Research Station to learn about conservation efforts. Explore the small towns, meet the locals, and taste the fresh, locally sourced cuisine. Understanding the human side of the Galapagos is as enriching as exploring its natural side. Boat tours are an excellent way to see the islands. Whether it's a day trip or a multi-day cruise, these tours offer a comprehensive view of the Galapagos, taking you to remote spots and providing insights from experienced guides. For the photographers and nature lovers, the opportunities are endless. Capture the stunning landscapes and the unique wildlife, or simply sit back, relax, and soak in the tranquility and beauty of this unparalleled destination. Finally, remember to travel responsibly. The preservation of the Galapagos' delicate ecosystem is paramount. Follow the guidelines, respect the wildlife, and leave no trace behind, ensuring this magical place remains untouched for future generations to enjoy. Best time to go to the Galapagos Islands. Now we're going to uncover the best times to visit the enchanting Galapagos Islands. Whether you're a wildlife enthusiast or a nature lover, timing your visit can make all the difference. The Galapagos Islands, straddling the equator, offer a unique climate. There are two main seasons, the warm, wet season and the cool, dry season. Your experience can vary greatly depending on which you choose. So let's dive into what each season offers. 
From December to May, it's the warm season. Temperatures average around 77 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the time for warm, sunny days with occasional rain showers. The sea is calmer and warmer, perfect for snorkeling and swimming with vibrant marine life. Wildlife during this season is thriving. It's the breeding season for many birds, including the magnificent frigate bird. In the sea, you might catch a glimpse of sea turtles nesting on the beaches. It's a bustling period for nature lovers. June to November brings the cool season. The temperatures drop slightly, averaging around 68 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. The seas get a bit rougher, and the islands experience a misty drizzle known as Garua. But don't be discouraged. This season has its own charms. The cool season is a fantastic time for marine life. The nutrient-rich waters attract a variety of fish, making it ideal for snorkeling and diving. It's also the mating season for blue-footed boobies and a great time to see whale sharks. Considering crowds and pricing, the peak tourist times are from mid-June to early September and mid-December to mid-January. If you prefer a quieter experience, consider the shoulder months. Prices also tend to be higher during peak seasons, so plan accordingly. Keep in mind special events and holidays. The Galapagos celebrates several festivals throughout the year, adding a cultural twist to your visit. Researching these events can add an extra layer of enjoyment to your trip. When planning your trip, consider not just the weather, but also what you want to see and experience. Each season offers different opportunities for wildlife sightings and activities. And remember, no matter when you go, the Galapagos Islands are a year-round destination with wonders always in store. Whether you visit during the warm, vibrant months or the cool, aquatic, rich season, the Galapagos Islands promise an unforgettable adventure. Don't forget to plan responsibly and respect this unique ecosystem. Budget for traveling to the Galapagos Islands. Now we're going to tackle the big question. How can you explore the magical Galapagos Islands without breaking the bank? Yes, it's possible, and we're here to show you how. First things first, let's break down the costs. Traveling to the Galapagos isn't cheap, but with smart planning, you can manage your budget effectively. Key expenses include flights, accommodation, food, tours, and the mandatory park entrance fee. Flights can be your biggest expense. To save, book in advance and keep an eye out for deals. Consider traveling in the shoulder season, late April to early June and late September to early November, when prices often drop. Accommodations range from luxury resorts to budget hostels. To save, consider staying in Puerto Ayora or Puerto Bacarizo Moreno, where affordable hostels and guest houses are more common. Booking in advance and traveling off-peak can also net you better deals. Eating on a budget? Local eateries, known as Commodores, offer delicious, budget-friendly meals. Street food is another great option to experience local flavors without the high cost of tourist-oriented restaurants. Galapagos is known for its tours, but these can be pricey. To save, book last-minute tours on the islands instead of in advance. Also, consider day tours instead of multi-day cruises. Alternatively, explore independently where possible. Don't overlook free activities. Many islands offer incredible sights and wildlife experiences without a fee. Beaches like Tortuga Bay, hiking trails like the Wall of Tears, and snorkeling in Concha de Perla are fantastic and free. Getting around the islands can add up. Utilize local buses or shared taxis where available. Inter-island ferries are a budget-friendly alternative to flights for island hopping. Souvenirs can also eat into your budget. If you're looking to bring back memories, opt for small, locally made items. And remember, the best souvenirs are your photos and experiences. Exploring the Galapagos Islands on a budget is more than just a dream. It's entirely achievable with the right planning and tips. How to get to the Galapagos Islands. If you've ever wondered how to get to the unique archipelago of the Galapagos Islands, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. Your journey begins with a flight to Ecuador, as the Galapagos are part of this beautiful country. The two main airports you'll fly into are Quito, the capital city, or Guayaquil, a coastal city. Both offer distinct experiences if you choose to stop over. Once in Ecuador, you'll take a domestic flight to the Galapagos. Flights to the islands depart mainly from Quito and Guayaquil. Most travelers prefer flying from Guayaquil as it's closer, reducing both flight time and cost. The Galapagos has two main airports, Seymour Airport on Baltra Island, and San Cristobal Airport. Your choice of airport should depend on your itinerary in the islands. Each airport gives you a different starting point for your adventure. Upon landing, you'll need to navigate from the airport to your accommodation. From Seymour Airport, you'll take a bus and a ferry to reach Santa Cruz Island. From San Cristobal Airport, you're already in the town of Puerto Bacarizo Moreno. Remember, visiting the Galapagos is unique. 
You'll need to pay an entry fee for the Galapagos National Park at the airport. This fee helps fund conservation and maintenance of the islands. Also, ensure you have your transit control card, which is processed before your flight from mainland Ecuador. Once in the Galapagos, island hopping is a must. You can travel between islands by small planes or ferries. Booking these in advance is recommended during peak travel seasons. Another popular option is taking a cruise. These range from luxury to budget-friendly and can be an efficient way to see multiple islands and their diverse wildlife and landscapes. Reaching the Galapagos Islands is an adventure in itself. With the right planning, you can make this dream journey a reality. Best restaurants in the Galapagos Islands. Now we're going to shift gears as we start to take a culinary tour of the Galapagos Islands. From the freshest seafood to local delicacies, we're about to explore the best dining spots this stunning archipelago has to offer. The Galapagos Islands are not just about unique wildlife and breathtaking landscapes. They're a hidden gem for foodies. Here, you'll taste dishes where the freshness of the ingredients speaks for itself. The cuisine is a blend of Ecuadorian flavors with a twist of the island's own style. First stop, Isla Grill in Puerto Ayora on Santa Cruz Island. This restaurant is a favorite for its grilled seafood and meat dishes. The ambiance is laid back, perfect for a relaxing dinner after a day of exploration. Next, we visit La Garapata, also located in Puerto Ayora. Known for its exceptional seafood, the restaurant offers a variety of local dishes in a cozy, inviting setting. Don't miss their ceviche, it's a crowd pleaser. Over on San Cristobal Island, El Descanso Marinero is a must visit. This family-run establishment serves up traditional Ecuadorian dishes. The lobster here is a standout, and the prices are very reasonable. Still on San Cristobal, Calypso offers a more upscale dining experience. With a focus on fresh local ingredients, their menu is a delightful blend of international and Ecuadorian cuisine. The ocean view adds to the ambiance, making it perfect for a special evening. Back to Santa Cruz, Booby Trap offers a casual, friendly environment. It's great for breakfast or lunch with a variety of sandwiches, salads, and fresh juices. Their coffee is among the best on the island. Over on Isabella Island, Almar is a gem. This seafood restaurant setting on the beachfront makes dining here an experience to remember. Their shrimp dishes are especially popular. Also on Isabella, Casa de Marita combines a hotel and a restaurant. The menu features both international and local dishes, with an emphasis on seafood. Dining here with the ocean breeze and the sound of waves is truly magical. From casual eateries to upscale dining, the Galapagos Islands offer a surprising variety of culinary experiences. On your next visit, be sure to indulge in these flavors that capture the essence of the islands. Best resorts in the Galapagos Islands. Now we're going to embark on a lavish journey to discover the best resorts in the Galapagos Islands, where luxury meets the wild. The Galapagos Islands are not only a haven for wildlife enthusiasts, but also for those seeking a touch of luxury amidst nature. These islands offer some of the most exclusive and environmentally conscious resorts in the world, providing unparalleled experiences. Let's begin with the Finch Bay Galapagos Hotel on Santa Cruz Island. Nestled in a tranquil location, it's an award-winning eco-hotel known for its exquisite service. With its own private beach and a focus on sustainability, it's the perfect blend of luxury and nature. Next up, Pacaya Lodge, also on Santa Cruz. This lodge is the epitome of eco-luxury. With its breathtaking architecture and panoramic views, Pacaya offers a unique, land-based approach to exploring the Galapagos, complete with its own yacht for day trips. Venturing to Isabella Island, we find Scalesia Lodge. Set amidst a lush forest, this tented lodge offers a serene and intimate experience. It's perfect for those who want to immerse themselves in nature without compromising on comfort. Back on Santa Cruz, the safari camp is a must for those seeking a different kind of luxury. Inspired by African safari camps, this resort offers stunning tented accommodations, an infinity pool, and an organic orchard, all with an amazing view of the Pacific Ocean. On San Cristobal Island, the Golden Bay Hotel and Spa awaits. This beachfront property combines modern amenities with environmental responsibility. Indulge in their spa services after a day of exploring the island's unique biodiversity. For a blend of history and luxury, the Angermeyer Waterfront Inn on Santa Cruz Island is perfect. Built around the legendary Angermeyer Cave, the inn offers a unique stay with a deep connection to the island's history and stunning waterfront views. For a different kind of resort experience, consider the Ocean Spray Catamaran. This luxury cruise offers a mobile way to experience the Galapagos with top-tier accommodations and guided excursions to different islands. In the Galapagos Islands, luxury resorts offer more than just comfort. 
They provide gateways to once-in-a-lifetime experiences amidst some of the most spectacular natural settings on Earth. Natural beauty of the Galapagos Islands. Now we're going to embark on a journey to the best nature spots on the Galapagos Islands, a treasure trove of natural beauty. Get ready to be awed by some of the most breathtaking spots on the planet. The Galapagos Islands, known for their unique wildlife, are also home to some incredible natural landscapes. From volcanic formations to pristine beaches, each island offers something unique. Let's explore the best natural beauty spots that you simply can't miss. Our first stop is Tortuga Bay on Santa Cruz Island. Known for its stunning white sand beaches and turquoise waters, it's a paradise for beach lovers and a haven for wildlife, including marine iguanas and sea turtles. Next, we hike to the Sierra Negra volcano on Isabella Island. One of the most active volcanoes in the Galapagos, its vast caldera offers breathtaking views and a landscape that feels almost otherworldly. Still on Isabella, Los Tunelis is a must visit. This series of lava formations has created a unique snorkeling spot where you can swim alongside sea turtles, sharks, and a variety of tropical fish. For a glimpse of the iconic giant tortoises in their natural habitat, head to El Chato Tortoise Reserve on Santa Cruz. This lush highland area offers a serene experience and a chance to walk among these gentle giants. Off the coast of San Cristobal Island lies Kicker Rock, a stunning volcanic formation rising from the ocean. Known locally as Leon Dormido, it's a popular spot for snorkeling and diving. With an abundant marine life, Gardner Bay on Espanola Island boasts one of the most beautiful beaches. With its soft white sand and crystal clear waters, it's a perfect spot for relaxation and swimming, and you might even be joined by playful sea lions. Bartolome Island is home to Pinnacle Rock, one of the most iconic landmarks in the Galapagos. The surrounding landscape, with its moon-like terrain and stunning volcanic features, offers one of the best panoramic views in the islands. As you explore these natural wonders, remember the importance of sustainable tourism. The preservation of these unique ecosystems is crucial, so always follow the guidelines set by the Galapagos National Park. The Galapagos Islands are a true testament to the beauty of the natural world. From volcanic vistas to idyllic beaches, each spot tells a story of evolution and conservation. Conclusion As we draw our series on the Galapagos Islands to a close, let's reflect on the incredible journey we've taken through one of the most extraordinary archipelagos in the world. If you've enjoyed this series and are eager for more travel adventures, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to Kabuma Travel. Let's dive into our final thoughts on the magical Galapagos Islands. Over our journey, we've explored the unique biodiversity and natural beauty of the Galapagos. From the majestic giant tortoises to the playful sea lions, the wildlife here has been nothing short of spectacular. Each island brought us new landscapes, from volcanic vistas to pristine beaches. We also delved into the cultural and culinary aspects of the islands. The local communities, with their warm hospitality and sustainable practices, showed us a way of life in harmony with nature. The cuisine, fresh and flavorful, gave us a taste of the rich Ecuadorian heritage. From snorkeling with exotic marine life to relaxing on sun-kissed beaches, the Galapagos offered a perfect blend of adventure and tranquility. Each activity we engaged in brought us closer to understanding the unique charm of these islands. As we conclude, we reflect on the unforgettable experiences the Galapagos have offered. These islands are more than a destination. They're a reminder of the wonders our planet holds, a testament to the beauty and resilience of nature. The Galapagos Islands have shown us that travel can be transformative. It's not just about the places we see, but the memories we create and the lessons we learn. We leave the Galapagos with a renewed sense of wonder and a deeper appreciation for our planet. As we bid farewell to the enchanting Galapagos, remember that every journey is an opportunity to learn, grow, and make a positive impact. Keep exploring, keep dreaming, and keep traveling. Until our next adventure, this is Kabuma Travel, signing off.